All right, let's do some intervals. I'm so good already. Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace I can find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching just what I'm longing for When times are getting crazy And everything seems hazy Is there some place for safe? Saturday, VO2 Max interval session in the books. Today we had 12 times 400 beaters at 119 to 122. Here are the equivalent mile and kilometer paces. We recovered 60 seconds in between each interval with a walk jog, and we split up the 16 reps into two sets of eight and took a longer break in the middle. Our heart rate only got up to 170 for Cole and about 171 for myself. So we didn't get high enough into the VO2 max heart rate zone, but our legs were a little bit heavy. I think it's because of this high volume. I like the progress that we're making because our strength is there. We're able to finish these reps um, and come in on time. I'm gonna continue the kids on this progression with the high mileage and uh, we'll look forward to taking an off week in the future. And during that off week, we'll try one continuous interval set without any long breaks in between. And the lower volume during that off week should be what the kids need in order to finish out the sets. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to structure view to max interval sessions for marathoners. In the beginning of your speed build, start with one VO2 max session per week. Depending on your fitness, start with 200s or 300s. You start with 24 200s with recovery periods that equal the length of the time that it takes you to run your 200s. So for example, if it takes you 40 seconds to run one 200, you can take a recovery period of 40 seconds. And depending on your fitness, you can divide the 24 200s into X number of sets, whatever you require in order to complete all 24 reps. The same goes for 300s. So if your fitness is good enough, you can start with 300s instead of 200s and do 16 300s and rest anywhere between 50 to 90% of the length of time that it takes for you to run your 300s. So for example, if it takes you 60 seconds to run your 300, then you could take a 40 to 45 second rest interval. In the following week, you have an option to progress your interval session by either decreasing the amount of rest interval or increasing the volume or increasing the intensity or the speed. Each week I'll progress the duration of the interval to 600, 800, 1K, 1200, and even 1600 meters. I can also use the benchmark of calculating VDOT numbers for my goal race pace and then doing the VDOT calculated equivalent interval pace for 1Ks with the goal of completing eight times 1K with recovery periods of 50% of the duration of the interval itself. So if I can do that workout eight times 1K with that short recovery period of 50%, then I'm pretty locked in for that pace during a 5K race. If I can nail about six times 1K at that pace with 50% interval rest, then I have a pretty decent shot uh, I'll have to be pretty dialed in and things have to all go my way on race day. But if I race hard and really gut it out, then I have a shot at it. Kids really did a good job digging deep and fighting the hurt and really, really pushing hard to get these interval reps done. I'm super happy about the progress they're making. They came a long way in the last six weeks. We progressed very steadily and took our time, didn't really push anything. Usually we add more VO2 max time during the week mixing in some speed play in medium long run and long runs. However, we focused on quality and getting good recovery time in, in this speed build. So we're taking a very slow and steady progression. Running fast and getting a higher speed at VO2 max is a great way to improve your marathon game. Get out on the track, get some sessions in, and crush your marathon goals. Okay, thanks so much to our Patreon team. 
really can't do it without you. Get your daily dose of running motivation by following us on Instagram and check out the data of our track sessions on Strava by following me at Michael Kim at All Heart RC. I'm gonna go eat some Chinese dumplings and some small plates. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now.